Alright guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel, Ranger and Rin. Ranger here. Now this is gonna be my playthrough and walkthrough for Wasteland 3. Um, I already finished the game once. Um, I used Ranger difficulty, so that has friendly fire. That might be different from whatever mode you're playing, unless you're playing also Ranger or Supreme Jerk. Um, I also played the game a few times just to experiment with a few things uh, like builds and stuff. Now, my videos are gonna have spoilers, a lot of spoilers, and they're gonna be long. Um, some videos might be just 15 minutes, some might be an hour or an hour and a half. So I'll leave like timestamps at the description or at one of the comments, so you can just use that, click it, so you can skip through the video. Um, I won't be wasting your time. With that said, let's get on with the video. Okay, so since we're done with your headquarters, we're gonna leave. We're now gonna go to Colorado Springs. Now I'm gonna be as detailed as I can. This video is gonna be a bit long. Um, heads up. To visit every place I think you can here, or just go in front of the door. Most of them are gonna be closed at this time. Okay, so first thing we do here is we're gonna save Austin Peets. I highly suggest you save here. Not just a quick save, but this creature on save. Go. Your mom? Please. You don't look like marshals. Do you work for the patriarch? Then my boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. The plains they keep saying is, um, you know, outside Colorado Springs, there was like a farm, mostly farm, mostly civilians. And there was a group like slavers. I'm sorry, this is spoilers now. There's a group of slavers, and that group has something to do with the patriarch. You're gonna get more details later in the game, but something happened between them and the patriarch, and they started attacking. There you go. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. Austin Pease. The skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone. Ever. Our family escaped the wars in the East. Tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, my other son, my daughters. One by one, picked off and killed. Now it's just the two of us, and I'm gonna lose him too. Please help my son. Okay, so we're gonna go. Let's push Watkins there. Talk to him. Sorry, I, I didn't. I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, uh, a lot on my mind. Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold. 
letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. And the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I, I can't take the chance. Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. Yep. There. They're gonna let the cold do its work. I wonder if it'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Yes, I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. I'm used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. No, I was never no desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Nice talking to you. All right, this point can save. Death to Buchanan! I Death notice to I'm not stinking families. talking to the NPCs that much because they won't. They don't say anything useful. The voice acting in this game is really good. I mean it. It's just Death even the characters. The yeah, just like that. It's good, right? But yeah, they don't say anything useful. No regret. No for the day, loser. We ain't gonna pay for it. We'll have our revenge. I'm just gonna keep saying the same thing. The marshals, these. Oh, yeah. No use talking. It's not like, you know, RPGs like Final Fantasy. It's something different, or they might have to go around gathering information. No. Nothing. Back to talk to him. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? <laughs> Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. Which reminds me, that Dorsey you requested stand trial? <laughs> he was clearly guilty and sentenced to the pillories. A waste of my time. He did have this note, though, which you may find interesting. They are the only instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die by exposure. Sometimes, I might grant a reprieve after frostbiters claim their extremities. For some offenses, we have a work camp on the plains. I don't approve of their methods, but it's outside my jurisdiction. Yeah, there's going to be a story about the work camp on the plains. It's just connected to this group started attacking the planes. Minor infractions like 
public drunkenness or disorderly conduct are punished by a short stay in the sheriff's lockup. Right there, sheriffs. Oh, to the contrary. It is more merciful than the punishments meted out by the mountain clans or the gangs of the plains. If we did any less, they would see our nation as weak. And in Colorado, weakness is death. As much as we might long for the world before the bombs, when justice was not so cruel, that is not the world we inhabit. And let's be honest, Judge. You kind of like it too, don't you? <laughs> no, I do not. I only do what the law commands. And since you're the law around here, I guess you're your own boss. I follow principles set forth at the second founding of this city, as you know very well. Without our laws and the penalties to enforce them, we're no better than the wastelanders. Proceed. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey Uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorses were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Fortunately, yeah. Um, since what I did was, um, I'm gonna have Marshal Kwan level up and add points to his kiss ass i'm focusing more on leadership you go ahead and pick this you wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses i can facilitate that that's the price in Colorado dollars. You can pick the other ones, but if you want to just go cut it short, do this. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. Alright, so again, just quick save. Saw you talking to Watkins. He, ain't gonna beg he for actually let lives. this kid go? We ain't weak. Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and, and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you. Th thank you. Thank you. That's actually his only we role. Ain't gonna bake for all You'll lives. find him at the entrance. We ain't weak like you. You talk too much, bro. So you'll find him at the entrance of your ranger headquarters. His mom is also gonna disappear here. Uh, but I never saw her. For you all. Yeah, I never saw her at the ranger headquarters. But you will start having refugees at the ranger headquarters. Again, the we only advantage of you. Helping refugees or picking a certain side is if you meet them outside, like at the world map in the open area. Um, if you meet a refugee, you have enough reputation, they'll give you free stuff. It's not like rare guns or armor, whatever, but either get a discount or get something for free. Not bad, right? Okay, so we're done with Austin Peace. Um, I also check if he's gonna join you. you he doesn't. 
I, I missed something or yeah it's, there's nothing else um this lady right here you'll have to remember her because um this is gonna be spoilers at your ranger headquarters at the med bay there's gonna be a certain area um just right in the middle which requires a code and the code is with the slavers like the gangs from the plains they take refugees or people and turn them into slaves or they do something to them they eat them they hang them on a big kite chop or remove their hands and feet those kind of things but someone's gonna look for her and you have an option to surrender her to the slaves or accept the mission then let her go and just act like nothing happened so, um, basically that's it but this is where you will find Haley so if you, you can talk to her now actually mom mom oh sorry never mind and yeah she's looking for her mom what why what do you want no please I just need you to go away please I, I, I don't know we were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we, we, uh, got separated. I, I hurried here as quick as I could after, but I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. <laughs> there, there was this smiling lady. She said she had some food, and I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And... Next thing I know. Remember the prisoner? If you watched my last video, if you found a video about this, uh, the prisoner. Where she, he mentioned about the smiling lady. Going to where your headquarters is. Like, they stayed there for a while. She was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. One of her men took me out of the cage to... To... I kicked them as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and tagged along. Stayed with them till I got here. Uh, bye. She stops there because it's not time yet for her dialogue. So. Or her story. Here, it's gonna be the mechanics. Um, you're gonna end up fighting these guys. Depending on what you plan to do. But usually you end up fighting them anyway, so yeah, not that hard. Maybe the paper boy. Extra, extra, we'll cowardly attack on Colorado Springs. Seen the last of us. New in town? Did you hear about what happened? Sure has. Dorsey's got into the city, but nobody knows how. They started shooting up the place and killed a lot of people. Then they made a run at the Patriarch's Palace. Oh, but they couldn't get inside. It took a while, but Sheriff Daisy and the Marshals beat him back. Now they're holed up in the Garden of the Gods. Well, some of them, anyway. Others jumped in their trucks and ran for it. Just what I've been told. Back before I was born, they were the family that betrayed the Patriarch and tried to take charge of Colorado. Thing is, everybody thought they'd been dead for years. I mean, there's tons of stories about how the Patriarch wiped them all out. Oh, Marshall Station, right over there. You can't miss the pillories out front. Yep, up there. But, yeah, they're all closed. Yep, I work for the Colorado Patriot. Only newspaper left in America. We tell people what's happening in the city and what they should think about it. Right, that's it. Be careful. Might still be Dorsey's hiding out in the city. That's actually where we're gonna go next. Um, they won't let you in here. This is gonna be the entrance to the 100 families. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. An invitation from the head of a family or authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. 
Until that's all settled down, Patriarch's orders are in effect. Authorized business only. Rodmore Heights and the Patriarch's Palace. Now what happens if we try go in? Nothing, actually. No one's allowed in there. Which word didn't you understand? Please, step away. If you try to push any further, they might attack you. Didn't try it. Didn't want to cause any trouble. I mean, there's too many of them. I can probably take them. Probably, but... Yeah, you don't want to fight the marshals. It's going to affect your um, reputation. If you see cats um, in any area, can any animals. If you have animal whisper, if you have, or if your animal whisper is high enough, you can get them as a companion. So for example, um, she has Major Tom. You can get another one because technically this is someone that joined you Use the either use animal whisper or use the, the smokes. At one point, I had like um, Major Tom, Polly, uh, Barrett, and one more animal. Only works for someone who you already spoke with, someone like Major Tom, like uh, an animal that you can buy or an item to attack her. Yeah. No balls, again, they're useless. So, like them. Martha, why else would I even keep a shotgun around if and I don't use it? Do you know who those outlaws are, Josiah? They're Dorseys! They won't be scared of a scrawny old man! A scrawny old man with a shotgun? Uh, hang on, I'm not that old! Oh, Josiah, just put down the gun and let someone else handle this, alright? Alright, so this is a store by armor. And. He's the come out of there, you sons of bitches! Josiah, come on! Don't provoke them! But they're no. in my shop! Whatever happens, don't let him join you inside. He's gonna die. Whatever dialogue you pick, whatever you pick, whatever you do. Once he gets inside or he once he joins you, he is gonna die. So don't. Just don't let him die. I'm afraid to use this gun, Martha. Con it. You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there! Hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Oh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. Some of those Dorsey bastards are hiding out in my shop. My shop! Finest clothing store in the whole dang town. So I'm going in after them. They're too busy. Besides, a man should be able to protect his own shop. Thank you. Keep an old man from killing himself, will you? Killing myself? Can't you pretend to have some faith in me, Martha? Especially in front of these soldier types? You do this, you'll get a nice discount at the shop. Assuming I still have a shop by the time it's all over. Well, go on then. You do? Shit, Hotlanders! We thought you was all dead! Back off! Either you start shooting now, or you talk to them. I done told you! Don't come any closer! If you try to use this, They'll get to attack first. It happens sometimes with um, an enemy. 
you get into a dialogue with them then they get to attack first it's weird so your option is this if you don't want to get into a fight right here i use this um if josiah joined you and you click this he's not gonna allow it then he's gonna try and shoot and he dies so yeah if you try to pick this josiah is with you they're gonna aim for him first and his health is really low so no just don't do it we all know if i do this i'm just gonna end up killing them um you can do damage with the store but this if you want to save on ammo and at the same time you'll get some experience ah uh, no nah, you're right we're gone huh <laughs> nice get up Phew, boy thanks again for taking care of those dorsies we'll clean up the old store and make it good as new Pretty soon we'll be selling suits, pants, hats, and all the rest. Finest garments in town. And here, a little token of our appreciation. Come on back after we reopen the shop. That's gonna be when you leave, then you come back. This here's Market Square. The Arapaho Garage is just outside the city gates. My old friend Doc Parker set up a clinic there. Parker's the best doctor in town. Be a hell of an asset if we can persuade him to join the Rangers. Careful though. The Doc is prickly at the best of times. And these are not the best of times. Okay. Yep, I can actually lockpick this now if we want to. Um, what's gonna happen here is once you leave when you come back and um, this is the museum once you leave you come back there's gonna be a lady here standing she's wearing a green suit she's gonna be the one to man your museum so you can get her and she will redecorate the place for you this is the first these are the first shops you encounter um she makes a lot of buns when it comes to uh, beach or fish this guy is more of accessories and like random items this is for healing so I suggest Did you see the almost blow up the focus on these two yeah I was hiding under the bookseller's stall Marshall stopped oh, I'm gonna say first wouldn't be market square without it so I'll we'll talk to him I never had a chance to fix this this is actually a microwave and you can turn this on yeah i don't know snapping jimmy bob still standing door or no door you think a little raid would stop snapping dogs barking jimmy bob? apologize no sorry oh hey okay. new faces let me know if you need to restock i hear there's still some door in the city that's snapping Jimmy snapping Bob, Jimmy thank Bob. you. Not that much to tell. My dad was a trader and a good one. And now I'm a trader and a good one. Might seem boring to wandering muscle like yourself, but I like it. Oh, that's my prized possession. A genuine pre-apocalypse fully functional microwave. I can cook up some truly gourmet delicacies with it. But the damn power got cut in the fighting. It'll take the city weeks to fix it. Uh, all I can think of why I didn't get this to work. Um, this is spoilers. Um, I killed the gippers, and the gippers are the only ones that will give you or give you Colorado Springs oil. If you don't kill the gippers, you won't be able to get one of the Buchanans to either go to the jail at Colorado Springs or to the jail at your um, headquarters. And you won't get the reward from the Patriarch. And it's gonna, it's gonna be against your, um, your objective. So that's gonna be up to you. When I kill the gippers, 
get the reward from the patriarch or let them have one of the buchanans but you get the oil and the city is gonna be warm it will show the effect of that decision the ending the picture and music then there's gonna be something here like a dialogue or something but yeah let's let's Okay, now out of all the attachments or the mods that I want, this is it. Um, I usually use this for um, sniper and the submachine gun. Submachine gun's range is really, uh, yeah. Now usually I just sell this crap. Well, just to get some money. That's that's actually it. Well, either anything that's gonna be used as I actually kept some of these. But I thought I was I'm, I'm going like I can use them for something, but no, can't. But I only sell the scrap most of the time. The books. This don't sell them. I can use the tin cans, yes. Uh, muscle tissue, acid sludge, these. But if you if you're patient enough, just keep them, and you'll actually get a better deal once you get your barter high. Um, barter is a skill. Gonna be right here. And I'm saving that skill for the COS engines. You'll have a barter skill. Um, you get that to 6, you're going to start earning a lot of money. So for me, I'm going to focus on her barter and um, small arms. So. Yeah. You're going to be poor at the start, but hey, at least the return is going to be worth it. They've got their hands full licking their wounds. You're gonna be waiting a while. Back up slowly. See the mine? What you do? Just go ahead. Diffuse. Oh, fish sticks. I'm gonna have to disarm Arm. that thing myself. Whatever you want to call it. Depends on how fond of your fingers you are. Holy mackerel! Better stay back from my stall. Those goddamn dorses dropped a landmine under it. Really? That's great news. Here's a little something for you. Great. Talk to her. Welcome to the freshly reopened Taiwan Jones's Emporium. We have everything you need, just for the asking and well, the paying. You didn't hear this from me, Franz, but word is there's still Dorseys all around the city waiting to jump innocents such as yourself. Be sure to stock up with me, yeah. Ah. You want to hear about the wide open seas, my trusty vessel, the wild waves crashing the shores? Well, sorry chums, I'm just here to sell stuff. What would you like? I have no idea what you're talking about, Franz. I don't know if it's something to do with her name. I'm not really sure. No, nope. no, wish that I did, Franz. Born and raised in Colorado Springs. Me? I've never even seen a fish in my life. Wondrous creatures, I hear. Sardine Lee. For me, honestly, I don't buy guns like immediately. I always, always go for the armor. Always. Unfortunately, if I buy one now, I'm gonna run out of money. <laughs> I'm gonna save that. Save your money for now for buying ammo. And medicine. See. Again, compared comparing this, uh, I mentioned this in a previous video. Comparing this game to Wasteland 2, it's more forgiving when it comes to ammo. I always ran out of ammo. Especially sniper ammo and with the energy cells. 
hard. Welcome to Mary Milk Teeth's Morning After Mart. If you did some things last night that you wish you hadn't, I got you covered. I can clean you up, sober you up, cure your ills, and get you ready to face the new day. Or maybe you got banged up in the Dorsey raid. I can help with that, too. What do you need? Just a simple humanitarian who saw a niche that needed filling. Now, are you buying or are you talking? Remedies for regret, children. Headache pills, hair of the dog, pills for the pox, pills for the pain, and first aid kits for those of you who might have started something you couldn't finish. All guaranteed to fill you with pep and put a spring in your step. What can I get you? Here you go, children. Salvation is at hand. Um, buy this first. Fortunately, you can't buy that many. That oh. tree. Oh. Those you. Now. That's the only thing I'm gonna buy. I don't have any money. Um, I can sell the guns. Actually. Uh, talk to you really quick. Hi, yo! Snipe and Jimmy Bob. And Jimmy Bob. I'm Trade. Slits. The only thing I don't like about selling stuff in this game is things you sell, it's gonna show up. It shows up in the. At their store shows up here I'm gonna add here something i hate so this is the old sniper rifle sell it Green gun sell it this uh, box gun this i think requires energy cells so i'm gonna leave that this one will be marshal kwan i actually kept their guns before they didn't really take it they didn't get any like angry in some of their guns and you do have an option to field strip a gun now that puts crap or if you have enough perks or skills it might drop some attachments or whatever but yeah for me then it Cash now you higher That's a problem with another issue with this game. The first item is what it uses to compare. Okay. If I put this here there's no option to press and hold shift and it compares to the, um, the other weapon with the secondary if you're nitpicking yeah um, you can complain about that but yeah not for now now if you go here that's gonna be the garden of the gods There's gonna be a guy here waiting um, it's gonna stop you from entering this is Brygo's casino. You won't be able to enter this. Or if you can, it's really nothing you can do. But now we're gonna go here. This is where you meet. Come on, you ferris fiend! Turn! Where you meet the doctor, right there. Ah, hello there. The name's Theodoric Curie. Theo for friends. I need to work on these gate hydraulics, but I always have time to answer some questions. If you're here to learn about our wall. I am the humble son of scientists. My mother and father were on a mission to pursue the possibility of cold fusion. Imagine nuclear reactions at room temperatures making it safe for everyone. Sadly, they are gone and my efforts to follow their work has been stymied by immediate dangers. Perhaps one day, I'll have the time to devote to such a monumental achievement again. It's simply your standard concrete barrier with Tesla-styled electrical deterrence. 
Not an absolute marvel of what could be done, but sufficient for the task of keeping out enemies. If we had oil to power the generators, you'd see the glorious effect of thousands of volts of electricity arcing across it, deterring would-be attackers from approaching. Such a pity. Believe me, I understand. Thank you for stopping by, and good luck out there. Back to the wall. Unfortunately, again, if you don't kill the gippers, that's the only time the wall can activate and you get the heat. Not now. <laughs> These guys are gonna be involved. Um, these are refugees. And they're also, again, spoilers. Leave now if they wanna hear it. Just skip. Um, these guys are responsible for all the refugees getting to Colorado Springs. So the problem is Colorado Springs is getting over um, populated. And it's because of them. Um, you'll be deciding if you take her with you, like arrest her and send her to the jail at the ranger headquarters or leave her here. Like let the marshals arrest her. If the marshals arrest her, she's gonna die. So that's entirely up to you. If you save her, um, it will add to your points or to your reputation for the refuge. Right there. Quick info. Maybe the Rapaho caravan. Um, you can open this door. You can enter here or here. Doesn't matter. It's gonna be the same. Containers. In terms of drugs in this game, um, you can see. Again, eight armor for 36 turns, but you suffer constant evasion for 720 turns. That's enough turns for you to finish the game. So it's not worth it. Don't use this now. There's going to be an item you use to get that side effect or to remove side effect of the drugs. But you won't have access to it at this point. It's going to be around mid game. You'll start seeing it. It's going to be um, a common item. You can even buy it from the doctor or headquarters or just. Now these, you're actually going to use these. Aren't you yeah, a scientist? She's smart enough. Can't wait to be done today. Gonna get my salsa on. This station is nice enough, but convoy life is better. Talk to him. Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far? Nah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorseys dead if they'd walked in my garage. Haven't seen your friends before. If you folks are looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. This is the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet, but we fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. If you need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. Eh? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic and we had the space, so good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred <laughs> families and turning his back on his own people. 
Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. Co-workers, not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders, get me? Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer is our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. She's ten pounds of attitude in a five-pound bag. At the moment, yeah, I guess so. Driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. We pride ourselves on being the best mechanics and couriers in the West. Well, except for those of us who run the stations, we mostly live on the road. The people of the convoy, some folks call us. And we've turned that way of life into a business. Arapaho service stations, Iron Thunder logistics, Arapaho caravan protection, and so on. We didn't encounter the Iron Thunder logistics. Oh. Uh... While other folks were eating each other in the suburbs or fighting over mansions in Broadmoor Heights, we kept to the wildlands and didn't come back until civilization had reestablished itself. And when we came back, we came with services people needed. Transportation, protection, and repair. Been living well ever since. Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho, though. That's actually a hint. There's gonna be one NPC you're gonna help. You're gonna save his uh, sister. That's going to be a little further in the game. Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. These are mostly parts. It's an accessory right there. Adds one to your mechanics. I actually bought this. Not now. Or It's just a horn. You don't really need it. Um, it's more of a weapon. You can buy this if you want to. Oh, this will show up. The garage. And that's all you'll ever sell. Parts for the cars. No interaction here, and... I'm gonna get into spoilers here. There's gonna be a story, and you're gonna help 100 families. Someone in the 100 families will a quest and either it's based on your decision either it's gonna be the refugees that will man your garage or it's gonna be the Arapaho caravan I highly suggest you get the Arapaho caravan give you a lot of parts good parts armor um that's radiation stuff best to go that no time Now this guy is connected to your mission on, dog. Pal, pull through. He's gonna be your med bay doctor. But you're gonna have to help him first with his patients. Too many so patients. Talk to him. Not enough people. Um, it's gonna be dialogue. You're gonna have to use the items, the three items you got from Get this. Up. Container. At least you don't have to spend any money and buy it, especially if this early in the game we don't have any money. Right? No time. So that's what we're gonna do next. Um I think there's something else. Oh yeah. Come on, pal, don't pull through. One advantage if we don't help him yet, he's gonna cure you. He's gonna heal you. And there's always a doctor or someone certain Too area. many patients. Not enough people and who can give hit a shit. you for either 10, 20, uh, I think at one point it's 100 or 200 dollars. A lot of money. Get up already. Um, at least you save on items you can use in combat. No you time. Can talk to him. 
Next. I'm trying to adjust the camera. Actually, just feeding the camera. Come but on, yeah. Pull We're gonna talk to him next. And I'm actually thinking if I'm gonna get him to. Too many patients, not enough people who give a shit. Yeah, I'll get him immediately. I'll just use all the items like that. Yeah. Gonna be. Get up already! The next one. Now, this is gonna be um, your complete guide to. No time. Any dog parker. So let's stop. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Understood, brother. They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. If you don't have it yet, you're gonna have to leave. Check the container outside, then you get those three. Great. Then get started on those patients. Just you save. Get whoever it is your medic. Check on them first. They actually tell you what you need to use. It isn't. Bad, is it? Just flesh wound. Am I right? You should see. The other guy. Yeah. Go here, left click if you're playing on PC. Left click you again. closed my wound. <laughs> I won't miss staring at my own gods. <laughs> Head backs. They wouldn't stop. Why wouldn't? They stop. It hurts. Please. Where? What's going on? Did you patch me up? It still hurts, but way less than it did. Thank you. Injury kit, med pack, injury kit. Jumped out of a building to escape the Dorseys. Didn't count on the ground stopping me. This is kind of teaching you what to do after battle. If you get down, you revive someone, you'll get an injury. Gonna show up here with the status. You need an injury kit, you can use a med pack and a suture kit for bleeding. My leg! You said it! Ugh, still hurts like a bitch, but maybe I'll actually walk again. The longest time. Even until I finish the game, he's still unconscious. I don't know what to do with her, to be honest with you. Um, but once you get the dock, she'll take her within your headquarters, the ranger headquarters. She's gonna be lying in one of the beds. Again, finish the game, she's still there. I'm gonna have to do some research, try a few things, and see if there's something I can do. Maybe she wakes up. I don't know. I keep saving, you see it. <laughs> what now? Good. 
Thank you. One sec, though. I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've already done. But I need one more favor. You see this girl? She was shot in the head, but there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. You've saved her life. And mine. Need anything before I get my stuff together? Of course. Let's have a look. Good luck. You level up as your health, your HP, your health gets higher. You might need to talk to a doctor. You'll get healed like twice. Um, I think once your health reaches 200, you're gonna have to heal, get healed twice. As for what he gave you, um, stethoscope adds one to your first aid. So you can wear this for now. Hard as not, but. Might as well wear it. This one experience bonus. For me, I'm gonna put this with my this is my gonna be my leader. So he needs that. You only get one of this. Like or not actually one, I think two. Can't remember if there's another accessory or like a utility or experience bonus. Yeah. Okay. Talk Rangers, I chat. But there's a lot to wrap up before I make my way to your headquarters. All right. Doing that, this is your Kodiak. If you talk to this, if you go to your vehicle, as you do, if you want to leave Colorado, if you do, then you're just gonna be outside. You'll be exploring the area. Right. World map thing. Oh no. Else. Um, at this point, you're gonna have to talk to Sheriff AC. I'm just gonna go through other parts of the, the town. Fortunately, I can't enter them yet. Not yet. Until I defeat the doors he's here. Regardless of the gods. some new arrivals wash on in military types they said can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs don't take that tone of voice with the rangers lupinski or what kwan you gonna arrest me fine fine what do you want it's the garden of the gods Rocks, experimental farms, and now those fucking Dorseys. Sheriff Daisy say so. Nope. No room for amateurs in this town. You hear? No room. Alright, so we're not gonna get in there until we talk to Sheriff Daisy. This is Brago's Casino. Um, either, well, well, um, this is gonna be against spoilers. Either you get Brago's men to man or to be the guys at your armory. They'll be the ones selling the guns. Or it's gonna be the sheriffs, um, the marshals. So pick your side, decide. Because I, first time I played this, I had Brago's men. Stay at my armory. I actually put their side. They're never gonna show up at your reputation. But the marshals will show up here. So whatever faction or group shows here, take care of their reputation or fame. Then they're useless. Um, there's gonna be there is gonna be one um, sick mission 
can involve one of the guys inside this place. I think his name is Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. He's. Uh, Marshall Kwan knows him. And he's gonna try something. He's gonna try to take over the bazaar. It's also gonna be up to you if you're gonna let him or not. Uh, I didn't let him. Uh, I'm not sure if he's still gonna show up. I'm gonna check here. Uh, I'm gonna sh see if killing Brago's men will actually affect that part of the story or if I still get that submission. Uh, we'll find out. There's scraps here. No ball, don't bother. Use this. Enemies. Apartments. I know you can't enter this yet. What's the mech? Go away! That's actually the landlord, so no. Can't get in there. Hey! Take a look at what these marshals and Dorsey's got on them! Those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill them, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Fat chance! We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from marshals no more. This guy's the leader. Major Tom is a tough cookie. Alright, so what you do... Take your grenade. If you have your grenade equipped, throw it. Oh, yeah. me. <laughs> With the money. Uh. That one again. Yep, that happens now. Move back. Problem is, if I shoot him, it might hit Major Tom. So I'm gonna take Marshall Wong. Yeah. He did it! Keep an eye out for your animal companions. Um, I had Bali, gonna be, or sorry, he is gonna be a pirate you can buy for two hundred dollars at the bazaar. I didn't notice he died. It's like done with the entire story for the bazaar. And like, where the fuck is Bali? I didn't notice, and it was it was too far to load the game. So, yeah. Right, so we are getting some armor, and that's why I know save on money. One has one. Is it uh, my sniper? It's Alpha Gaming, so he's gonna be the last person to wear the armor. I'm actually gonna swap this with this. Right. Save. Check the dumpsters. Press space. You can get all the like, entire party with you. Press an old shift. If you want to go ahead and see and everything you can check in a certain area. Not all downstairs you can actually check, see here. So no. Crash here. And the kind of guy that saves a lot, so sorry. Bad banana. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this guy, I just sold him immediately. That banana.
There's something weird in this game. If you press and hold, it immediately shows everything. Now, um, I can open this. Lock picking is high enough to open this, but there's there's actually a story here. Now I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna start with the apartment. There's only two missions in the apartment. One of them is gonna involve the refugees sent to the work camps. The one driving them is here. Um, it's best to have Marshall Kwan with you. We're gonna talk to that guy. There's also a scientist here. He's really strong. The only one using a shrink grenade this early. And he has a um, laser pistol. What happened is he cloned himself three times. Then you will find him, the original scientist, here. Looking for a book. Um, not there. Around here. He's gonna get repaired. Don't fight this guy. Don't fight him. I'm gonna keep saying that. I'm gonna keep warning. They're strong. They're really strong. This is... This museum is connected to... Um, the synthetics. I'm gonna be synthetic here. Waiting. That's... That mission is with Grey Wolf. You only get that mission once you're done with the machine coming at the Denver airport. Because if you start killing synthetics, um, it's gonna affect your standing with um, the machine communes AI, like the big guy there. So no, don't do it. Now let's see. And I can get some items here. And talk to them. And press this. They start telling a story. Synthetic is gonna be one of the children here. Or yeah, it's like a, a yeah, this whole kid's place voice. is gloss. But who wants to hear all the ugly details? This that you're bearing. So I prioritize mechanics, nerd stuff, and lock picking so I can get these things early. Fortunately, it requires weird science, so yeah. Nails. Um, there's some guns that uses uh, actually spikes. The only one I use is um, an assault rifle. But from that, eh. Greetings, visitors. My name is Junko Murayama, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Saul Buchanan Colorado Heritage Museum. You're about to embark on a journey through history as we share with you the people and events that made Colorado what it is today. Our new and improved animatronic exhibits will bring history to life as you learn about the rise of the patriarch, the unification of the hundred families, and their battles against the monster army and the plains gangs. The staff of the Colorado Heritage Museum asks that you do not interact with the exhibits. Ready? Let's go! That's pretty much it for Colorado Springs. At least the first time you get here. And this again, this is gonna get repaired. This is gonna be a bookstore. You can't really buy any books. Yeah. Anything else? It's gonna be um, the Broadmoor Heights. It's gonna be this area right here. Um, this is where you enter. Once you leave and you come back, this is gonna get repaired. And this is where we're gonna go next. This one, if you wanna talk to, if you wanna go here, you can. Yeah, it's gonna be up to you. They're not gonna attack you, you can talk to them. Um, I can't remember if there's something you can do that will trigger them and attack you, but you should know. I hope you die slow! I'm gonna end the video here. If you have any information you want to add, you just go ahead and leave it in the comments. You can like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.